Understanding the phrase, Busy Harbor, an English language guide. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, Busy Harbor. This is a common expression used in English, and understanding it will not only enhance your vocabulary but also give you insight into a bit of cultural and geographical language. So, let's dive in. Busy harbor is a two-word phrase where each word contributes to the overall meaning. Busy is an adjective describing something that has a lot of activity or is full of work. Harbor, on the other hand, is a noun that refers to a place on the coast where ships, boats, and barges can seek shelter and dock, often for loading and unloading goods. So, when combined, busy harbor describes a harbor area that is bustling with activity, boats, and often, people. The phrase, busy harbor, can be used in various contexts. It is often used to describe a scene in a story, a location in travel writing, or an everyday conversation when talking about a visit to a coastal area. For example, we visited a busy harbor in San Francisco, filled with colorful boats and lively markets. The story is set in a busy harbor where fishermen start their day before dawn. These examples help illustrate how the phrase can bring a vivid picture of a bustling, active place in the listener's or reader's mind. Understanding the phrase, busy harbor, also gives insight into the cultural and geographical aspects of a region. Harbors are significant in many cultures for trade, transportation, and as a hub of economic activity. A busy harbor might imply a prosperous, lively place with a strong sense of community and industry. It's useful to know some variations and synonyms of this phrase. For example, bustling port, crowded dockside, active waterfront. These variations can be used interchangeably depending on the context and what you want to emphasize, be it the crowd, the activity, or the location itself. I hope this explanation of the phrase, busy harbor, has been insightful and adds a valuable element to your English vocabulary. Remember, Understanding such phrases not only helps in language learning but also in appreciating the cultural and geographical nuances of the language. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next video.